Hi, I'm Lauren Lilling from Keep It Sweet Desserts. Today I'm going to show you how to make sweet and salty peanut butter cookies. I seriously love sweet and salty desserts. They're one of my favorite. This one has peanut butter, chocolate, and pretzels all in one cookie. So the first thing we're going to do is combine our butter, peanut butter, granulated sugar, and brown sugar. We've got a cup of peanut butter. I use creamy, but if you want, you could use chunky. It's really whatever your preference is. We've got four ounces of unsalted butter. You want your butter at room temperature. We have five and a half ounces of granulated sugar. And about four ounces of brown sugar. So we have these all in the mixer, and now we're going to put the mixer on high speed to beat it together. I'm just going to scrape the sides of the bowl to make sure we have everything at the bottom, everything you know incorporated into the batter. And I'll add our egg. We got two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to mix it again at medium speed, just for a minute or two. So for our dry ingredients, we've got four and a half, four and a half ounces of flour and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So we're just going to give those a quick whisk and then add them to the ingredients that you've been mixing. Just pour it in here, like, and we'll put our mixer on low speed just for a minute or two to get it all combined. We've got one cup of broken salted pretzel pieces, just like that, and two thirds of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You could use milk chocolate if you want, but I like the flavor of the semi-sweet in this cookie. And then we'll just stir it for a second. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chill our dough in the refrigerator for two hours. That way all the flavor gets really molded together and the dough will firm up before we bake it. So now that our dough is chilled, it's ready to bake. We're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees and line baking sheets with parchment paper. That way it'll be really easy to remove the cookies when they're out of the oven and cooled. So what you're going to do is take your cookie dough scoop and put the cookie dough, you know, about an inch or two apart so that they don't spread together. What I like to add to the cookie dough is just a little sprinkling, sprinkling of sea salt. Just a touch. So you really get that good, sweet, and salty combination. So we're going to bake our cookies for about 14 minutes until they're light, lightly brown around the edges. And then we'll let them cool, and then we eat them. I'm Lauren Lilling from Keep It Sweet Desserts. Come to my site for lots of desserts, lots of sweets, and lots of recipes. Mm -hmm.